right, here's a video review for Earthrise Skylynx. He's a commander class. He's fairly large, and here he is in the new base mode they've come up with for it, which I really dig. I like the idea of turning it into a base where you can launch the shuttle from. Now, I will say, like, uh, there was an issue with him tabbing in because he's supposed to, he's got these holes in his thrusters and he's got some tabs down here on the base that he sits in, but he doesn't really plug in securely. He just kind of rests there. But there is, uh, I had several people point this out. There's a tab here on the space shuttle mode. And uh, if you, once you, if you, you kind of get him loosely plugged in there, but if you tab the ramp onto that tab, like you're supposed to, it actually is fairly solid and secure. Like that's wiggling a little bit more. That's just because the ratchet's off a little bit. But, um, but yeah, it, lock, it latches in pretty securely. So yeah, tabs in, all secure, things are good. Um, a lot of people pointed that out. I do want a spe special thanks to Vexi, who uh, initially, which, uh, they were the one who initially uh, pointed out that tab, and uh, and it works very great, so thank you, Vexi. Anyway, uh, to transform it, he comes, uh, the base mode, we'll go ahead and get them off. Go ahead and slide that ramp down and close it up. The space shuttle comes off. You can close up those bays. You can see it's got the, the, the official NASA logo. And he is the Magnificence, because of course he is. Um, but a really fun, like one, just the space shuttle. You can just put him off to the side and you can fly your space shuttle all over space like a space shuttle do. You can crash him into his own loading dock if that's what you prefer. So you have the space shuttle and then you can take this. Space shuttle is already going to space shuttle. So you fold this ramp down and up. Fold that ramp down and up and bring these to the side and latch them in. Fold these pieces up with the little wheels. Flip the whole thing over and you just fold these back up and around and fold this around so the tread faces down and there's a little tab. There's a big, big chunky tab here that plugs into the red part of the leg. So that, that's how you know it's a Rudo. I mean, that's how you know it's done. But uh, yeah, make sure you rotate that so the tab chunks in. And then fold the treads down like that. The, well, this panel just came right off his mushroom peg. So you fold this around, and again, it's the same thing. Uh, you want to make sure, fold this around, fold the tread around, and you want to make sure when you're folding this red piece in, again, there's an odd a, a one, two, three, four, five, six sided peg, but not a full hexagon. Uh, that pegs into a slot here. So you, you'll know you're plugging it in right when the paint is on the outside and the empty tab is on the inside. And also you make sure that the, uh, again, that mushroom peg, that shit that uh, really wants to slide up. And tab that in. And then you've got the platform. It sticks out the back a little bit more than I would like, but yeah. And then you can take these things and they can plug into any of them. I like to have them back here. You could also flip them around backwards as if they're extra thrusters for the cargo bit. Either way. And of course, you can attach the shuttle to the links. And the way you do this is there is... Um, Actually, you know what? Let's do the individual modes, and then we'll then we'll get back come back to this. But there are the two there are the two individual vehicle modes, which can then turn into their respective alt modes. So for the shuttle, well, actually, let's do the links first. I'm kind of making this up on the fly. Um, which I know I'm sure it's a beer. But you bring the legs down on the on him, pull out his shoulders, and then you can rotate the lower legs down here to be flat or to face forward. Uh, Rotate those around and tab them. Bring these down and around. Yeah, so this is, this is a smart thing to do. Like that. Make sure that's not place. Flip out. Again, we flip out those two tails. And then open up this panel. Flip out his head and up. Close that up. And there is his head with his little red tongue gun. And it's on a ball joint. You can kind of move. It can, this is can move all around gold part of the head. This neck can move side to side. It's got ratcheting legs, swivels, ratcheting legs, ratcheting ankles. It's got ankle tilts all the way around. Very cool links mode there. 
And then Sky over here as the shuttle. Let's get you in the pose. There we go. And then the shuttle. It's the standard transformation. Pull his neck out. Make sure you pull his neck all the way out because originally, like, I was getting caught about right there. I'm like, he's got a neck, but it's short, but it actually comes out. One, two, three, four, five chunks. Open his mouth. Open up his jet thrusters here and then pull this whole assembly out. Now, mine likes to come unclipped right here. Uh, sometimes if I'm not careful with it right at this part. And it looks like originally they, they designed this mechanism to have a pin like all the other hinges do, but it actually is, they changed it, it has, is just a clip part. It just clips onto a plastic piece there. So I don't know if they changed that or if that was always the intent, but it does appear to have a pin hole and it looks like maybe originally they had a plan for that to be pinned in. But anyway, you just extend that all out. The tail can move, wiggle back and forth. You got all these hinges here in the tail. Untab the wings from here and fold them up on these hinges like this and flip out that panel and then flip out that panel. If you want to see it from the underside, you open up this panel and you can see the channels. They will click into place. This channel will click into place on either end and you angle the wings up and then just come down here, fold his chicken legs down, extend his toes. He's also got ankle tilt. He's a very poseable chicken. He is, yeah, there we go. You gotta get his legs ratcheted just right to support his weight because he can get a little front heavy. Come on. Nope. Let it stand proper. Stand like a good chicken, nice and tall. There we go. Why is one leg longer than the other? Why can't I? There we go. Is that it? There we go. You open his mouth. He's got a little movable gun tongue. And there they are together. I'm not a big fan of individual chicken mode. Like, Lynx, I think, looks good as a Lynx. I've always, I've always thought the straight up, just the shuttle by himself, was a little awkward. And it's true. But there it is. Take them like this. And turn them back into a shuttle. Because he's fully transformable from alt mode. Like I said, there's a, there's, a, there's a way I want to do all this stuff together. And it doesn't, for, for the video, like, but, oh well. But turn them back into a shuttle. Do, 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 snap them together. And I do like that he's not super complex. Like, there we go. We're already back to shuttle mode there. And then we'll just fold him back up into his. Little alt mode here. Pull his tails back in. Make sure everything pegs together. Come on, peg on. How's everybody else doing? I saw that they finally started shooting the last few episodes of Supernatural. That's going to be back on October 8th, I believe. Looking forward to that. Um, my wife just finally watched Cobra Kai. I watched it on Netflix, but she just finally got around to watching it. We're looking forward to season three of that as well. Is there anything else I just finished I'm looking forward to? Mandalorian comes back October 30th. A lot of good uh, media coming back here soon. So yeah, anyway, here are the two, the two vehicle modes. And it's a little tricky to get him... Because there's, there's, there's a latch up here that has a little lever that clearly plugs into this bit of the space shuttle. Also, real quick, before we get into too deep on the space shuttle, the space shuttle does have landing gear. You can flip those down and uh, have him sit by himself. Anyway, on to the clippy clippies. So you take this, and there's, a, and there's a little tab back here that fits over this little hump. And you put it on, and then this will snap into place, and you think, great, it's together. And it's, and it's not somehow. And I don't know why, because he's sitting flat. It doesn't seem that anything's weird there, but he doesn't want to latch together. And it turns out you got to work a little bit to get this tab to sit in, because there is a slot here on this. And I found that if you take him and kind of land him at an angle like this, and then once you've got him on this back hump, push it forward, like push forward on it, and then snap him down with that clip. Actually, that didn't work. 
it's like I said, it's tricky. You got to get it to catch just right, which is a little annoying. And some people have said it works just fine. Some people have said they haven't been able to get it to latch at all. But I have found that if you get it, there you go. Hear that click into place? Kind of angle it down. And when you get them like this, put pressure basically along the angle of his tail right here. You put your fingers right here and push down until you feel it click into place. Like it, it just did there. But um, it'll click, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of feel it kind of chunk chunk into place and then angle it down onto this clip, and then it latches securely together. As long as that back piece is clipped in, the latch holds it really tightly. It's just a matter of pushing it down back here onto that, that space at just the right angle so that piece clips into the back and then snapping it down onto the, uh, onto the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The front part. And there is his vehicle mode combined vehicle mode. And just as a quick comparison, here he is with the Combiner Wars version of Skylinks. And you can see he's much larger. And honestly, like he's more straight up G1 Skylinks. He's a little stylized, a futuristic -y looking shuttle, some extra fins back here. And for the time he wasn't bad. Although he didn't separate. He was just this, he was just this, the Skylinks mode, and then the Combiner torso, which was, you know, whatever. Actually, he was one of the better combiner torsos. But anyway, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting off track. Get him out of the way. But he is, uh, like I said, just like before, he's fully transformable from this mode as well. You don't have to transform anything separately. You can turn him into his separate alt modes. When they're separated, you can transform him from this alt mode into his full Skylinks mode uh, without unclipping them, which is nice. And it's... Pretty much just using some of the same steps we already did. Bring the legs down. Open up his little chest bits. Bring the leg down, rotate these forward. And that's pretty much done there. Just get his feet stable. And then you just come back here, open this up, extend his tail out again. And then uh, bring this down, then you can close this back up and bring his tail up around the thrusters. Uh, extend his neck up and out, open his mouth. And then bring the wings and clip the wings, bring them up, spread them out, angle them, you can angle them around, they rotate. And there he is in his, well, to quote himself, magnificence. He's a big Skylinks. He's not he's not quite as big as the Mastermind Creations one. But you can pose his wings. This one's a little loose. I need to put some polish on that mushroom peg so he can angle his wing up a little bit. It likes to unless you get it up higher, there's a in between here where it likes to fall back down to mostly flat. But you can angle him up. You can bring him back. He's got all these joints, ratcheting joints in his neck. Swivel there, the opening jaw, the ra all the same ratcheting legs that the Lynx had. The tail can pose, and it can even side to side there on the tail. But all in all, he's a very nice Skylinks. And again, real quick, here he is with his Combiner Wars counterpart. And here you can see you can see how much better he is because, like one, his this guy's tail with it without these extra pieces just was a little droopy, like it. It barely came out past the back end of the of the space shuttle unless you as long as you don't lose these things it looks okay. A little less awkward neck, like too much too much bulk up here. I didn't think like, I like the skinny neck up to the head, whereas this has the head and it almost looks like a dog head because of the thick neck. But anyway, he's in the past. We're we're just getting rid of him because this guy is in fact pretty magnificent. I like him. The space shuttle, he's a cat. Space Shuttle Cat. He's pretty darn cool. He also comes with, again, a pre-cut out map section that looks like the Dead Universe in Char. I mean, I don't have the decoder on me, but... He also comes with blast effects. He comes with... I think this is just the one that came with Skyfire, but, like, not painted black. It's got four sections, five sections, because you can use one of these to make a giant blast effect, and that can attach to his mouth as if he's, onto the peg here, as if he's breathing fire. 
Um, and then the th you, then you get so you get all of those, but this and then two more of these, which you can use uh, in space shuttle. See that the clip plus likes to come off, and I don't know why. Um, you can put him back here into his thrusters. I mean, this list just looks like he's farting gas, and maybe he is. It it probably still be magnificent, but anyway, you can use him in thrusters. You can use him as blast effects. You can use if you just want to breathe a little fire. Maybe he just gets a little fire as a treat. You just plug that on there. Uh, I mean, maybe he's shooting things out of his laser beams. There we go. There's a peg there. Oh, there's a peg up there. So, all sorts of ways to use blast effects, but at this point, we know it. I do wish we got we got some more of these. I really, somebody was talking about when they do that Unicron. It'd be really nice if we got some of these blast effects in green to mimic some of his uh, blast effects, and that would be really cool. But I don't think it's happening. But anyway, there he is. Earthrise Skylinks.